Hello and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year and our blended model. Uh, this is our virtual back to school night. My name is Adam Nance and this is Street Law. Uh, I do want to explain the class and what our blended model is going to entail, but first I just want to give you a little bit of information about myself. Um, this is my 14th year teaching. This is my third year at Creek. Uh, I've been in the Cherokee School District for all 14 years. I was at Eagle Crest for years and years before coming over to Cherry Creek and Creek is a great place in which to be. I couldn't be happier here. Uh, I grew up in Colorado. I was born and raised here. Uh, I went to CSU for my undergraduate degree. I was a history major and a political science minor. Uh, after my undergraduate degree, I came back down to Denver, where I attended Regis University for my master's degree. I have a wife and two young children. I have a two-year-old girl named Jane, and I have an eight-month-old son named Sam. Uh, my wife actually grew up in Colorado as well, so we're kind of the uh, rare couple that is uh, both Colorado natives now. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea about uh, what the course is going to be, Street Law is a semester-long social studies elective that has four units to it. Uh, the first unit that we are going to engage in very shortly is our Introduction to Law unit. This will be followed by our Criminal Law unit, which will then be followed by our Tort or Civil Law. And then finally, we are going to wrap up with Constitutional Law. Uh, street law is a great class because it actually is going to be how the law impacts students and how it's applicable today. Uh, it actually is going to give them some real world scenarios which to work through. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've been done this class now for three years and it's a great opportunity for me as well. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea about what our blended model is going to look like, uh, I'm certain that you've heard, but the way it's going to work is we are going to have two cohorts based on students' last names for the most part, where if last names are early in the alphabet, you are going to be cohort A, and names that are later in the alphabet, the second half will be cohort B. Cohort A is going to be in class on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and they'll be learning remotely from home on Thursdays and Fridays. For cohort B, it's simply reversed. To give you just kind of an idea about what our blended model will look like, uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm going to be working through this as well as we kind of get going and learning as we go. My plan is to do things in class that we simply couldn't do out of class for remote learning. Uh, it's going to have several different components to it, and I think kind of as the semester continues, you'll sort of uh, see what I consider to be essential to be in class. Uh, what we're going to, what's going to take place outside of class will be things that they can do remotely. So just to kind of give you an idea, it will be readings, it will be videos, it will be even potentially posting discussions online. But this is kind of my vision for what's going to take place. Now, as I've told my students, my vision may not be perfect because I don't know what's going to take place. I'm hoping that this will work out, and I think it will, at least in theory, but I might have to kind of change things on the fly, and I'll be certain to communicate those changes if needs be. Uh, I've also gone ahead and launched my Microsoft Teams. This is a virtual meeting area. Uh, I'll be holding office hours every Monday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. These are not required times for students to attend. This is optional office hours where they can come and drop in on my uh, Microsoft Teams and we can meet if they need additional help or any other kind of comments or support or questions. Anything like that that they might need to discuss with me, I'll be happy to meet with them virtually from 11 to 1 on Mondays. I am really excited for this new opportunity that this school year has to hold. It's going to be a definite change. We're going to have to kind of learn things together and I've uh, told my students this already. Um, but I'm excited for what this entails. So if if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me. Probably the best way to get a hold of me is going to be through my email. I have posted my uh, my syllabus on my Schoology page, and it has all my contact information in there as well. So if you need to get a hold of me, feel free to look at the syllabus on my Schoology page. Looking forward to a great year. Thank you very much.